This video is going to cover the Access Chapter 1 guided project. Just a reminder to make sure that you get your start file from SimNet from right here. And then once you have it open, you're going to need to hit Enable Editing. And then you need to navigate to wherever you're saving your files at and make sure that you put it in your Access Chapter 2 folder. You're going to probably need to hit Enable Content again. And if my file name looks a little different, it has some extra digits on the end, don't worry about that. Um, we are starting this project off by creating a new table. So we're going to go up to Create, and then we are going to hit Table Design. Close this out. And we're going to be typing out all of our fields. So our first field name is going to be Branch. And it's going to be short text, and our description is unique branch name. And we're going to set this as the primary key. So we're going to click on primary key. You'll see a little key pop up in the record selector or the row selector. And then we're going to finish entering in the rest of the field names here. Address, city, state, zip phone, date opened, as well as choosing the different data types and typing in each of the different descriptions. Once everything's typed in correctly, you're going to double check for all of your punctuation, make sure that you don't have any spelling errors, make sure that everything lines up with the directions and um, hopefully what's on my screen. Always follow the directions in case I've made a mistake and you're not sure which one you should follow. Always follow the directions. Um, and if you have an error, it'll pop up in the report. It'll let you know. So we're going to hit Control S here, and we're saving this as branches. Go ahead and hit Enter to lock that in. And then we're going to start changing each of the different field name uh, or different field properties down below. So our branch is going to have a field size of 30. So we're going to go down here. We're going to type in 30. From there, the address is going to be. Um, 40 and then it's also a required field so we're going to click where it says address we're going to take out this here type in 40 yes it's required so there will be a little arrow that pops down here you can choose yes or you can type that in and then we're going to do city is 20 and it is also required Then we're going to go to state, which is a field size of two, also required. Zip is going to be a field size of five or nine. Let's double check here. Zip is a field size of nine, and then phone size is a field size of 10. So zip is a field size of nine, and yes, it's required. Phone is going to have a field size of 10. And yes, it's required. And then we're going to go down to um, date opened and we're going to choose a medium date format and it is also going to be required. One additional field property that we haven't done yet is a default value. We're going to go back up to state and we're going to add a default value here of capital C, capital A. When you click out of that and click back in it, it'll automatically add the quotes around capital C, capital A um, for California. And then we're going to create two um, input masks, one for zip and one for phone. So we're going to go into our zip here and we're going to click down here where it says input mask. You're going to click on these three little dots for that build button. Yes, you can save the table, and we are looking for a zip code. We're going to hit next, and then we're going to hit finish. Then we're going to go to phone, click on the three little dots in the input mask, and then we're going to go to phone, which it's already defaultly on that, and you're just going to hit next, and then finish. From there, the next step in number eight asks us to enter in all of our branches. So we're going to type this out, Cameron Park, Folsom, and Granite Bay. And we're going to do that in our data sheet view. So we're going to go into our data sheet view. Yes, we're saving the table and we're starting left to right to type out each of our 
uh, branches and you can go ahead and auto fit them as needed. So if you click on branch and kind of drag down through, if you need to double click um, the edges to make them auto fit, you can do that um, as you're typing. At the end, you can just hit tab to kind of go through each of these after each one. Um, when you get to date opened, you're going to type it in just like that. Uh, in the directions, it has uh, two slash one or one slash one slash 20, and it'll automatically format it to that medium date type that is there. Um, so everything should be in there exactly as it is in the directions. Um, if you have any errors, make sure that you fix those before moving on. And then we're going to be down on number nine. It wants us to modify the employees table. So we're going to save that branches table and close it out. And we're going to open up the employees table and we're going to get into design view. So we're going to click up here to get to design view. And then the department, we're going to create a combo box. So in that drop down menu, we're going to click on the lookup wizard and we're going to click, I will type the values that I want. And when we hit next, we are going to stretch this column out a bit and we're going to type in administration. Down arrow, health and benefits. Down arrow. And then insurance sales. And then property and casualty. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. We're going to limit this to list and we're going to go ahead and hit finish. We're going to be down on number 10 and we are going to close out of this table. Yes, um, we're saving the changes and we are going to go to open both tables in design view and we can actually, we only have to really open up the employees table in design view. So let's right click the employees table and open that back up in design view. And what we're doing is we're going to change um, the branch to description. We're changing this description property. So I'm going to select this um, and copy it. So I hit control C and you can type it in if that's easier for you. Um, but in the design view of this employees table, Right here where it says branch assigned to, you are going to add, um, must match a branch in the branches table. So I copied it over without selecting it first. Um, we're going to have all of that in this particular spot here for branch. So make sure that it matches um, exactly on my screen and what's in the directions. Then from there, we're going to create a relationship between the two tables. So we are going to create a relationship between branch on each table. And again, these tables have to be closed out before you can create that relationship. So I'm going to hit save here with this updated description. We're going to close out of the employees table and we're going to go to the database tools. Go ahead and click on relationships and we are adding both uh, tables here. So I can hold down control, click on the other table and hit add selected tables and we're going to click branch and we're going to drag and drop it on top of branch in the other table. We're going to check the first two boxes for this particular uh, relationship and we're going to hit create and then you're going to save the relationship, close out of the relationship and we're going to open up employees. We are adding one more employee down here. It's going to be Timothy. Let me get his information up. We're going to type in 200 Timothy Hansen, and he's going to be at Cameron Park, and he's an insurance agent. And you can use your drop down menu that you created. He is in the health and benefits. And then the start date for him is going to be 9-15-2022. And his base monthly salary looks to be 3,900. So I'm just going to hit tab. He's entered in. Then we are going to save and close out of the employees table. 
and we're going to look at the relationship that we created inside that branches table. When you hit the plus sign, basically it's merged over into the sub data sheet, each of the employees that belong to each of those branch locations. So we can close each of the sub data sheets. We're just checking that out. We're gonna close that back out. And then it asks us to open up the branches table one more time, and we're going to put that into a landscape view um, for printing purposes. So with this open, you're gonna hit file, print, print preview, and then we're going to click on landscape. After you click on landscape, we're gonna go ahead and hit save, and we're gonna close out of the branches table, and I will close out of mine and get mine uploaded and make sure um, that I don't have any errors. And I did have one thing that popped up. So looking at this report, it's always good to go in and just fix that one thing so you can have full credit for it. Um, I missed making one of my fields required. Um, field zip in my branches table is not required. So this is a really simple fix. All we have to do is go right back into the uh, database and then we go into the branches table and in design view, we go to zip and we're gonna make that required. So I must have just had a typo there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Yes, we are going to um, enforce that new rule. And then you just hit the back arrow here and we will upload it one last time. Whoops, that was the wrong file. All right.